Welcome back to another podcasterstudio.com tutorial. On today's lesson, we're learning how to use iTunes to create an MP3 file. So we'll start off by launching iTunes and going into the preference panel. And you'll bring up a box and you'll go to import settings and set it to MP3 encoder. And then custom will bring up another box. Now you can set the bit rate, 96, 128, and 64 are your various options, depending on quality and size you want. 96 is a nice medium, 44.1 stereo, joint stereo works out good for podcasting. Click OK. And OK again. And OK once more. And iTunes is set up for podcasting. Now step two is to open up your uncompressed audio file. Here we're using a sample wave file. And you'll simply put that on the desktop, right click and open with iTunes. It opens up in iTunes. Pause from playing. And right click and select create MP3 version. And it'll quickly create an MP3 for you. And now the final step is to include some ID3 tags, metadata info that displays in the person's media player. Right click, select get info, go to the info box. You'll see it's an MP3 here. So you know you're working with the MP3 is what you need to be, not with the original WAV file. Insert any title you like. This is just an example. Some of the things I like to fill in for my ID3 tags, information that's displayed on people's media player. I'm putting in an artist name here. That's me. A year. You may or may not want to put in track numbers. It's your personal preference. I'm putting in the title of my show here for the album, The Podcaster Studio. And again, I'm the composer. I might include something different here. Here I'm putting my name, but usually I also put a phone number that I can be contacted at and some comments, a brief description of what it's about. And here I'm putting podcast genre. That's how it'll show up in someone's iTunes. Then I'm going over to the options panel. Remember playback position and skip when shuffling. I like to select those. And lyrics, you may want to just go ahead and copy and paste your show notes into this section here. And this is just a sample showing you that you can write in this box. And then finally, the artwork, very important. Add an image, 600 by 600 or 1200 by 1200, depending on where it's gonna be displayed, a different size may be needed. And I add that, and now we have the information. You can see in the left-hand corner, you have the graphic. And then I right-clicked on the file in iTunes, it's showing me where it's stored. I usually typically take this file, place it onto my desktop so it can be easily found, and then archive it, upload it to your host from there. And that's creating an MP3 file using iTunes, high quality MP3. Once you set up iTunes, you don't have to go back and do it each time unless you want to change one of the settings. All right, visit thepodcasterstudio.com for more tutorials just like these. And you can get in touch with me on Twitter at Podcast Helper for any of your other podcasting questions. And we'll see you next time.